it's a little controversial, but and I'm going to step out on an edge if you let me. So um, there is an there is an edge in neurosurgery beyond which you can't go. You cannot pull a blood vessel beyond a certain amount, or it will tear. How do you learn how right. hard you can pull that blood vessel before it tears? Right. That depends on your personality. There are some neurosurgeons who pull the vessel until it tears and say, now I know. And at the beginning, they are wrecking people. Yeah. And yeah. at the end, they can become technical masters because they've been over that edge so many times. And yeah. so 10, 20 years into their career, they're, they're lauded. But at the beginning, they're just terrible. My personality, I couldn't go over the edge. And so I am a slower operator than I could be, um, than some of my more technically gifted, you know, uh, uh, colleagues. And mm -hmm. so I have learned by, by almost in a scared fashion, sneaking up to the edge, sneaking up a yep. little closer, a little closer without the bravado of, you know, going over the edge. Now, so I think there was a difference between brain surgeons and fighter pilots because they call brain surgeons brave, huh. but they're not. Right. They're playing with someone else, yeah. whereas the fighter pilot is playing with their own lives. And so I think the brave neurosurgeon can some be, sometimes be the psychopath. And, and there are psychopathic surgeons who are technically very good because they don't feel the emotional uh, letdown of, of wrecking someone. Uh, and they've gone over that edge and they know exactly where that envelope is because they've looked at it from both sides. Wow. And I'm a little, and it's just personality wise, I can't look from the other side. I would, you know, I sneak up, sneak up, sneak up. And so um, I, I think those there are similarities, but also there are differences.